Hello, my name is Olive Hickmott. I've been working for many years to enable neurodivergent students to learn in a way that best suits their strengths and often considerable strengths and their skills. They may have one or more of the following diagnoses. They may be dyslexic, dyscalculic, ADHD, autistic, sensory overload, or many more. Unfortunately, we have an explosion of learning differences in our classrooms with less resources, inadequate CPD funding, overstressed teachers, and long waiting lists for assessments. Children learning differently should not lead to learning difficulties. So the elephant in the classroom is here to help you. I expect you know the expression as an elephant in the room. This is an idiom for an obvious problem or difficult situation that everyone present is aware of, but which isn't discussed as it would be uncomfortable or thought to be out of scope. And it may be that the children know about this elephant and the teachers don't. In fact, there are three or four elephants in the classroom and I will explain. So here is my first elephant. He's the most important one. And for most neurodivergent students, they have exceptional skills underpinned by good or great mental imagery. So he's the mental imagery elephant. Mental imagery is the pictures that students hold in their head that should be used to enhance their learning. It's not the pictures we show them, that's visual teaching. This is the pictures that they have in their head, which is visual learning. The next little elephant is about feeling safe and feeling valued, which assists learning. So every time he gets something right, he knows that he's actually going to be congratulated for it. And all the things that he doesn't get so right, then maybe they can be put to one side for the moment. Because feeling safe and feeling valued really assists learning. So this little chap is number three. He's about being grounded and using good nose and diaphragmatic breathing, which will improve relaxation. Those are really, really important. And if you don't know about nose and diaphragmatic breathing, it is worth exploring those. Many children who are hyperactive are not using nose diaphragmatic breathing. And this simple change can really change their lives. And so the last little chap is having controlled your mental imagery now. So this chap over here, who's in charge of all the mental imagery, has used the resources of the other elephants. Then you've got controlled mental imagery, and that's essential for all aspects of literacy, numeracy, comprehension, concentration, problem solving, and you can see him getting happier all the time, design, creativity, and reducing sensory overload. Putting all those skills together, which can be taught really quickly, will have an amazing difference. And if you want to come up close and get comfortable with these elephants, let's discuss it.